Patricia Love back from Love Healing Hearts. You know, I wanted to talk to you about something, all of this ISIS war attacks and threats over all these countries. I honestly want to say something. I believe we're already at war, but the purpose behind the war is to gain power and more control over the money worldwide. Now, this is the comical part. Watch what happens. I bet you, I'm not prophesying, I bet you that all of a sudden you're going to find all the countries pooling their resources, all the ones that didn't want to talk before, that everybody thought would be attacking each other. Don't be surprised if this is the catalyst for a new world order. Don't be surprised about that. Because in all honesty, as soon as I saw what happened in France and what happened in Be Beirut, I honestly, honestly believe that it's all a manipulative ploy by the big pockets of this world, as some people refer to them as the elite. The big pockets of this world are pulling strings. They're pulling the strings of ISIS. They're pulling all these little uh, international and political strings. The UN, I believe, is in on it. I believe we really need to pray, you guys. Because even the presidents, the kings and queens of our countries, I think a lot of them are being used as pawns. And they don't even know to what extent. It's as if we're playing into the hands of this game of chess. So don't be surprised if the next thing you see is the country start pooling together their resources so that we can become a one world government. That was the first thing I suspected. As soon as I saw the attacks on Paris, as soon as I looked at the films of, of the 200 and some odd people that died in Beirut or more, as soon as I saw how uh, another place was being threatened and then America was feeling the threat. And I said, oh, you know what? And then all of a sudden now this one and that one's going to work together. There's nothing wrong with that. But my point is, I believe all this was part of the plan from whenever they, they, they laid their best plans of mice and men. I believe it's about money. It's about power. And however, whatever plans they choose, whatever uh, directions they choose to go in, we, the lower class, the poor, the disenfranchised, the widows, the widowers, the orphans, the, in, the inmates, yeah, the homeless, we're the ones that are going to fit the bill. Trust me while the rich folks rake it in. This is going to really work out for them. But let me tell you, this is why we need to pray. Because God will still work all things together, including Satan's devices. He'll, God will work all things together for our good. When we love the Lord and when we are called according to to his purpose. So just keep your eyes open. Keep your ears peeled. Watch and pray. Because some stuff is going down. And it's all part of the game. Amen. You guys need to pray. I need to pray. The people that are close to me need to, we all need to pray, you guys, worldwide. We need to pray. We need to take authority over the enemy, over the spirits of greed. We need to rebuke them, you guys. We need to pray that the presence of the Holy Spirit would move in on these people, especially the most treacherous ones. That God would move in on them, overtake them, 
and squash their plans. Cancel the assignments of the enemy. It all redounds down to the enemy's camp. This is not only a physical and financial and international warfare. This is a spiritual warfare. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. <sighs> spiritual warfare, you guys. When it comes to human beings, it all comes down to the dollar bill and power, control, manipulating the masses. Why do you think we have so much entertainment in this world, you guys? It's to dummy us down. It's like keeping us doped up and high on entertainment and fun. So we don't fight against what's really going on. We need to fight on our knees. 